What's going on Axial Scale Builders around the world? It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman, and you are now watching Scale Wars, Axial's official Battle of the Builders. Everybody, good morning. Good morning, rise and shine. I hope you're having a good start to the day. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me this morning, every Saturday morning. If you're new around here, this is just a little thing we do. It's nothing serious. It's all in fun. It's all in good nature. Basically, this is Scale Wars. This is Axial's official Battle of the Builders. It's an ongoing online competition where we just we rate trucks, man. We go over trucks. We have a good time. They're all axial based and really it's just, it's to build up the community. It's not to knock it down. Some folks are hesitant to uh, enter their builds. I've seen that in the past and uh, it's, it's gotten a lot better. I mean, we have more entries than we can handle, but at the same time, I just want to make sure everybody knows we are not here to make fun of trucks. We're not here to make fun of your builds or, or talk down on anybody. We're here to add it uh, 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 just like Positive criticism. So, tips and tricks, uh, thoughts, ideas. Maybe you know, maybe somebody's done the same thing as you, and and they've figured something out that you missed, and, and they want to add that advice, or maybe vice versa. You figured something out, you showed off in your truck. It just clicks with everybody. Everyone's like, "Wow, why didn't I think of that?" So it's really it's it's an opportunity to take the spotlight and give back to the community using your work, your build, and my platform. So that being said, uh, let's get on into this. We've got an epic series for you. Epic series. It's, we've got an epic episode for you today. And uh, man, it's a little early for this. I should have got coffee. I got water instead of coffee today. I probably should have got coffee. Anyways, let's get started. I'll see you guys on the battleground. Yay! All right, everybody. Welcome back to the battleground. It's about to go down. We've got three awesome entries for you today, all hard body builds. Um, I'm pretty stoked on them. They, these definitely have some love put into them, but there's also plenty of room for improvement. So you already know what to do, and if you don't, I will inform you right about now. Jump in the comments, man. Get ready. Dive in that comment section like it's a swimming pool. I'm talking get up in it and get ready to give that feedback. Get comfortable. Get ready. Get that popcorn ready. I mean, it's a little early for popcorn, but, you know, get your coffee, all that good stuff. Get ready to uh, participate because that's what this show is really all about. It's a community thing where we all jump in. We give each other feedback, help each other out, and uh, just help each other get on track, you know, help each other level up so to speak. And um, that being said, we're also going to make this a fairly short episode. We've been dragging these out fairly long lately, I've noticed. I mean, we're talking like 45 to an hour. Like, it's, it's I don't know. Let's try to keep this one like 30 minutes. Maybe a little under 30 minutes? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe 20 minutes this time? I don't know. We'll see. For some, It's not like it's your guys' fault. It's my fault. I just start talking and uh, I get into these builds and next thing you know, it's uh, I'm doing what I'm doing right now. I'm just talking again. So, all right. Let's dive on into this. You guys get ready. <sighs> First up today, we've got a uh, gentleman here named Chris Anderson. And Chris is out of... Uh, Denmark, Denmark. I thought that said Denmark twice, but it actually says Denmark, Denmark. And uh, he is 33 years of age. He has been subscribed to ESP. Well, in his words, not long. And uh, well, thank you for subscribing. We don't really care how long it is. The fact that you did subscribe, and uh, even better so that you're participating. You submitted your build to Scale Wars. I think that's pretty cool. Always nice to have folks participate. Um, Oh, I forgot to tell you guys how to enter. Um, I'll tell you how to do that after this build. So, anyways, um, where were we here? So, he started building RCs uh, in the year 2000, which to me feels like it was yesterday. In reality, it's been quite a while. It's like almost 20 years already. I'm so old. Um, yeah, so... 
18 years, 18 years of building, that means there's definitely going to be some love put into this, some thought, and I'm sure you guys are already starting to see it just by looking at it. Uh, this project that we're looking at, he calls it the Redneck Hilux. Now, as far as the part and paint list goes, um, just bear with me on this. It's a long one, all right? It's, it's definitely a long list here, and I'm going to try to keep it as short as I can without leaving things any important things out but he left a lot he put a lot of stuff in here like such as his you know what rod ends he uses and what uh you know shim brand he used stuff so anyways lots of tfl parts uh everything i'm about to say right now is all tfl parts so cnc aluminum front and back shock hoops uh 6.8 m3 aluminum rod bearing ball end aluminum front Bumper, uh, steel front axle, dog bone drive shaft, CNC aluminum towing shackle, hardened steel gear, locker for uh, 30 tooth bevel gear, um, steel rear axle, dog bone drive shaft, hardened number 45 steel, eight tooth bevel gear for front and rear diff, uh, hardened number 45 steel, 30 tooth bevel gear for front and rear diff, um, CNC aluminum towing hook for I don't know why you put the four on there and then uh, radio box assembly emulation winch and upgraded axle protectors uh, that was all from TFL the rest here or the next stuff we're looking at here is from Vanquish he's got the uh, incision wheels 1.9 uh, inch in size he's got pro Oh, I might as well just say it. Vanquish Products. I'm trying not to read it over and over, but Vanquish Products, SLW, Hex Hub, Vanquish Products, um, Incision, SCX-10-2, VDI Universals, uh, Vanquish Rigid Industries, Q-Series Q LED Light, Q-Series LED Lights, Black Wrapped in Yellow, he says. Sorry, that was a tongue twister. <clears throat> Vanquish Rigid Industries, 5-inch LED Light bar, black, wrapped in yellow. Vanquish incision, quarter inch stainless steel axles. I'll tell you why this is a tongue twister in a minute. <laughs> Tekken 200 millimeter brushless sensor cable. Tekken Rock 412 sensored brushless rock crawler motor. 2300 KV version. He's got the Tekken RX4 waterproof ESC. Associated antenna, associated clutch bell uh, shim set. He's got axial heavy duty bevel gear set he's got a uh, gearhead rc rear shock relocation kit castle creations bec um gearhead rc mini y harness yeah racing heavy duty four bolt uh, i don't know what a four bolt is a lunette ring tow hook and red he's got pitbull growlers uh the at extra 1.9s he's got pitbull two stage foam he's got ssd 1.9 steel d hole wheels <clears throat> Excuse me. GPM aluminum steel front and rear uh, center shaft set in black. He's got team associated silicone uh, shock oil and 40 weight. And he's got Samex aluminum servo mount collar. He's got Slideology 25 tooth aluminum servo arm horn. Hot Racing SCX10 uh, aluminum steering servo mount. Hot Racing red aluminum counter sub. Let's see, I don't know. He's got lots of those red countersunk washers, so I guess it's worth mentioning. Hot Racing Black Steel Chassis Frame Rail, Fast Eddie Bearings, and Toizuki SCX Rail G10. So, the reason this is so hard is because I already just did this. I did this like, like hardcore, just went through all of this stuff and realized my mic wasn't plugged in after the fact. So this is my second time going through this. Um, the Hilux body, uh, here's how... You know that he's got that modified. He says he's got the Hilux cab uh, and back panel. He says super scale rubber wipers. He's got the Toyota vinyl decal for cell sign sticker sheet, gearhead RC curved windshield banner, mud slut uh, windshield banner, rubber fenders for Tamiya Toyota Hilux, um, scale car battery for Tamiya Hilux. He's got extra wheel with sand in uh, for better weight distribution. And then, um, oh, he's got sand in it. Okay, then nice, nice, okay. Build classification, obviously, trail truck on scale of one to 10. He rates this a nine, which is definitely up there. And um, where's the rest? Oh, as far as who you'd like to give a shout out to, there's nobody on here. So, all right, that was a extremely long 
parts list super detailed though so thank you for that and uh thank you guys for bearing with me now you had a minute to stare at this and kind of get an idea what you think of it let me know in the comments what do you think um and as far as if you would like to enter your builds you'd like to join in on this whole conversation here head over to www.extremescaleperformance.com slide over the scale wars tab everything you need knows right there you can enter the uh, enter your builds. You can see what the rules and regulations are. You can uh, follow the scoreboard. All that good stuff. It's all right there. So uh, I meant to say that earlier in the episode before we kicked this off, but I got sidetracked just wanting to get into this build. So now that we've had some time to look at it, my first impression, um, I don't know. What are you guys' first impressions? Uh, my first impression is it looks good. It looks aggressive. For some reason, it reminds me of something from like uh, New Zealand or Australia or something. Um, I don't know why that is, but I, I like it a lot. There's something going on here, and I think it's on purpose, but it, it looks like lights, I guess. Like three lights on each side, and I don't think those are just shining through. I think that it, he probably did that on purpose, um, which is kind of cool. Hmm. Eh. Oh no! I mean, I mean, yeah, it is, but it isn't. I don't know. I, I've never seen nothing like that before. So uh, you guys, let me know how you feel about it. I'll see all the lights in the back window here is pretty cool. Um, but also, in looking at that back window, you see that it's all blacked out. You also see that this is all blacked out, which leads me to believe there's zero interior. So you're definitely gonna lose a lot of points there. Um, everyone that doesn't put interior usually loses a decent amount of points because there's a lot of points to be made from the interior. So. Um, you're missing the uh, top tier snorkel there, but it is cool that you have the snorkel on there. Uh, I like it, man. I like it. The wheels are a little aggressive. I mean, the tires are a little aggressive, more so than the wheels, but I like it. Looking good. There's another shot with some different wheel and tire combination on there. Um, still pivots. Looks pretty good. Honestly, I'm realizing right now, though, I, I, I'm not a fan of that front bumper. I would say get rid of that bumper. Go to a, uh, I mean, this is just me, but I, I would go to that factory bumper set, and I would go to a winch-mounted servo so that I could still have my winch, or winch-mounted servo. Oh, my Lord, I don't even know what I'm saying. I would go to a uh, chassis-mounted winch, like servo winch, so that nobody could see my winch but i would still have a winch and i would just have a little fair lead coming out of the factory bumper because this whole big uh you know metal bulky bumper over the top of the factory bumper that's just not really working for me too much um but you, you know again that's just my opinion so uh another thing you could really benefit from on here would be some scale hubs scale hardware uh you can see some scale hardware it looks like on this one but Getting some scale hardware on the inside, getting those scale hubs, getting some uh, scale disc brakes. And um, also, you know, a lot of people do eventually switch these trucks to coils in the back if they rock crawl them really hardcore. But uh, yeah, not as many people as still run them leaf. So it would be nice to see this converted to a leaf spring setup. Just throwing that out there. But it's cool that it's not because there's a lot of Toyotas that get converted to coils. So there's a cool shot. I like what you did with the spare tire. It's a good looking rig. Lots of cool parts on it. Um, in the back here, this looks cool. I like this light right here. That's cool. Not a big fan of having the voltage regulator in the back like that. I know why you did it, obviously, so you can see where you're at while you're following the truck around. But um, I like the skill accessories. Looks good, man. Here you can really see all the yellow he's got going on. There's definitely a lot of yellow here. Not so sure if, uh, like I said, I would get rid of that bumper and stuff, and I'd probably get rid of those Q-Series LEDs at the same time or switch them to the back to where they're pointing, you know, looking off the back somewhere um, and just run this big light bar up front with the regular lights. That's just me. It's a cool night shot. Really see how good those lights do. They look nice. Oh, it's definitely getting muddy there. St I guess that sticker's right. Um, it's a good looking rig, man. That's a nice shot right there. I like that shot. Definitely nice. Just notice the sticker on the windshield too. Awesome. 
Really cool, man. Hmm. I'm trying to see. I don't think I've ever actually seen these TFL axles on anything. They look kind of like the hot racing axles to me, but they're not, they, clearly they're not. You guys, jump in the comments. Let me know if you've used these uh, TFL axles before. Um, are they tough? Do they hold up to a lot of abuse? Uh, what do you guys think? You know. Um, Again, with the scale hardware, you know, and the scale, uh, going for the scale uh, disc brakes would definitely help out. Looks good, though. This is a cool shot. There it is, all stripped down. You can really see all the parts, all the goodies. Looks good, man. You did a lot of stuff. It's always cool to see the different ways people can, you know, lay out their SCX-10s. There's so many different ways to lay these things out. Uh, this guy did a good job. He's got his battery up towards the front. That spare tire there has uh, sand in it to offset the weight, so that was a smart move. Um, I think, it's, I, and you got plenty of room up here where you can move that winch in and just use that if you wanted to, and still get rid of that big bumper and go to the. Uh, regular factory bumper that came with the body. I know that sounds crazy, but I just think it would look way more realistic, way cool. So anyways, that's just my two cents. You guys jump in the comments, give your two cents. What do you think of this beast, man? How do you feel about it? Do you like all this yellow that he's got going on? Do you like the bumper? Um, do you disagree with me about running the factory one over that one? Uh, how do you feel? I think it's a pretty cool build. Obviously, you're going to lose points for not having an interior, um, but other than that, I think it's pretty cool. You did a pretty good job. Tires seem, you know, a little excessive to me. Maybe a slightly t a smaller tire would be nice, but again, this is just nitpicking. That's just my opinion. You guys, let them know your opinions, and uh, thank you. I, I really appreciate you taking the time to submit your build, Chris. Um, that being said, let's move on to our second entry of the day. All right, you guys, we've got our second entry of the day. Uh, this build's pretty slick. We're the, I know we got two in the picture here, but the one we're actually looking at is going to be the red Jeep. And uh, it's submitted to us by a woman named Maria Lindbergh. And Maria is out of Lixelle, Lixelle, Zverige, Zverige, Zverige. Lixelle, Zverige is what I'm guessing. I, I don't really know how to pronounce that. Um, but I'm guessing that is somewhere overseas, maybe in the UK area, you know, it may be Russian area. I would have to look it up on the map. Um, it's a new place to me and I'm really excited. That's awesome. I love it. I just said it earlier in the episode. I love it when we get people from around the world submitting builds and watching and joining the family here. So thank you very much, Maria. I am stoked to have you here. And uh, that being said, let's keep let's keep moving here. She is where is it? Thirty years of age. She has been subscribed to ESP for one year. She has been building RC since 2017. The project we're looking at right now, she calls it Ruby, and uh, I guess that's appropriate. <laughs> now the detail part and paint list goes like this: SCX10 Deadbolt RTR, a Rubicon hard body, homemade links. 3D printed parts to fasten the body to the rails and the rear shocks. 3D printed rims with stock Maxxis tires. Torben steel diff covers. Tactic servo. Boom racing type I shocks. Red LED strips un under and inside. ESP anti-spur gear setup. Nice. Shout out to you for using that. Um, extra speed 5 to 1 gear reduction unit. And uh, let's see, a stock plastic gearbox housing with extra speed steel pineapple gears inside. Um, Ghoul RC4300 KV brushless setup. And homemade battery holder uh, between the drive shafts. So pretty cool. Another build classification, obviously, is a trail truck. And on a scale of 1 to 10, she rates it a 4. So fairly low. Um, now, as far as who she would like to give a shout out to, she says my dear husband who got me into this so i agree shout out to your husband that is always awesome when a guy can get his wife into this and she's willing to go out and crawl with him so yeah i guess let's go ahead and break this down let's take a look at this uh let's take a look at this jeep now obviously we can't see too much from right here 
But nonetheless, looks pretty good. Here's an interior shot. Um, as far as interior shots go, I can tell you chopped the entire center console out here for clearance and then uh, looks like you used tape or something. I would suggest using styrene and just go back over that and uh, just build up some styrene there. Oh, oh, sorry guys, yawn crept up on me, but uh, build up like a styrene center console there. Um, you could really do a lot with styrene and it wouldn't be that hard to get something in there that looked realistic Plus it'd be good practice if you've never done it before. This is a good place to start. So um, That's just my two cents on that. I Know you can't really tell too much from a distance, but just throwing that out there Let's see Fairly bare bones honestly man, there's not like a lot of crazy stuff going on with this looks fairly simple um I like it though. The bumper looks good. It's the Axial bumper. Got some skid action going on. The Maxxis tires look good. Uh, looks pretty good. Now this antenna in the back right here, I'll get rid of that and put something on that looks realistic. That drives me nuts. Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. If somebody doesn't come up with a good replacement for that soon, I might have to. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I don't know what else to look at here. I mean, it's really just basic. I would like to see some emblems, like the Jeep emblem on the hood. Um, I know that's not mandatory, but it'd be cool to see. Uh, I would like to see a winch of some kind up on the front there. Um, that's really it. I mean, I can't ask for too much on this. Underneath looks really clean. Uh, the skid plates look interesting. They look, you know, fairly effective. Um, pretty nice there's not a lot for me really to say about underneath I mean the wiring looks pretty good there's a little bit of visible wire but it's not horrible if you wanted to hide that wire you could definitely paint it black or you could put it inside of a uh, like some sort of heat shrink or something um, let's keep it moving I don't know what to say it looks pretty good the wheels though I'm kind of trying to figure out if I like these or not. I don't think I'm a fan of those wheels. And they look like they've got Phillips screws in them or something. So I would definitely swap out the wheels. If you're trying to rock 3D printed wheels and you're going to go for it, then I would definitely vapor treat them. Or, um, I don't know, if not vapor treat them, then yeah, I, I don't know what a, how, maybe sand them down or something and paint them that way. But they just seem a little rough to me and uh, I would definitely get rid of those screws and go for some more scale hardware. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's fairly basic. There's not a lot really to say. I get rid of that tiny spare, though. Um, maybe high lift jack would be a nice addition. I don't really know what else you could add, man. This is pretty smooth, pretty straightforward build. I wanted to see this, though. Is there ESP anti-spur? Looks pretty good. Definitely looks pretty good. For those of you that don't know what the ESP anti-spur setup is, it's basically um, you know using the axial transmission, uh, doing an input from a gear reduction unit, and just running the divorce setup. Um, I've done some videos on how to do like a ghetto style one, or at least how I did my ghetto style one. Looks like these guys might have watched that because uh, just judging by how they got their layout here so big thank you guys for you know rocking that ESP stuff I appreciate it it just shows that you're paying attention um, that being said I, th I think this is a pretty good looking rig man I don't think we've got any more pictures of it do we yep there's there's one we got a couple more there she is that's what I was wanting to get to uh, the truck itself looks good the Jeep looks good inner fenders is something that you could definitely benefit from um, I, I don't know. I, it's just little things. I can tell that you like the clean look, so I'm not going to tell you to throw a bunch of scale accessories on there. But definitely get some hubs on there. Uh, get some scale hardware. Get some disc brakes. Get some inner fenders. And um, possibly some emblems, you know, on the hood. But other than that, it's a really cool build. There's Maria, you guys. Big, big thank you. You guys give her a, a massive like. Give her a comment. Let her know what you think about her build. Um, I'm always extra stoked when I see women in the hobby. 
that's a big deal to me. Uh, it should be a big deal to pretty much everybody. So thank you very much. It means the world to me that you took the time to submit your build. And uh, it's a good looking Jeep. Keep up the work. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on here in the future. That being said, let's head, let's head to our third and final entry. All right, you guys, we're on to our third and final entry of the day. Jump in that comment section. Get ready. If you want to get your build submitted, uh, you want to see them here on Scale Wars like these folks, then you already know what to do. Head on over to the website. The link is in the description below. www.extremescaleperformance.com. Slide on over to the Scale Wars tab. Everything you need to know is right there, including the registration, uh, the scoreboard, all that good stuff. All right there. So, that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get into this build. This one is submitted to us by a gentleman named Michael Richardson. Michael is out of uh, Brooksfield, Wisconsin, here in the good old US of A. He is 26 years of age. Looks like he subscribed to ESP uh, two years ago. So thank you very much for that, sir. Do appreciate it. Um, started building RCs back in 1999, so almost 20 years ago. Now, as far as uh, the project we're looking at right here, he calls this the Axial SCX-10 Jeep G6. So this must be like his G6 vehicle. Now the detail part and paint list goes like this. Axial SCX-10 chassis with leaf spring a rear or with leaf spring conversion in the rear with scale shocks. Jeep XJ hard body. Axial transmission with shift on the fly 4x4. Axial open diffs front and rear for a more scale uh, driving experience. Light kit scale receiver hitch and scale BFG tires, Savix servos and 16 amp ESC and 35 turn motor on 3S. Um, let's see, he says, I need help with this rig. Should I go for a stock XJ look or more hardcore crawler look? Need some ideas. All right, you guys know what to do. Jump in the comments. Let's give this man some ideas. Now the build classification, obviously a uh, trail truck here and on a scale of one to 10, um, he's rating it a five as is right now. As far as who we'd like to give a shout out to, he says, my girlfriend, Heather, she loves Jeeps, both full scale and one tenth scale. Gotta love a girl that loves Jeeps, especially RC and regular Jeeps. So shout out to you, Heather. Big, big thanks for supporting my man. Now, uh, you guys have had a minute to kind of soak this up here, kind of look it over. Um, what do you think? What's your initial thoughts? How do you feel about this? Uh, what's the first thing that pops out to you? For me personally, I think it looks great. It's got an amazing paint job, a nice stance. But the one thing that's really, really popping out to me is the fact that it's got a leaf spring conversion. Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys are realizing that, but leaf springs right there. So super stoked on that. Uh, this thing looks good. Nice scale. The Tamiya wheels, not so sure about those. Um, not the biggest fan of those Tamiya wheels. They're very played out and, you know, they've been on a lot of things. So, plus they're not that strong. They're easy to strip out if you put some power through them. So, just some food for thought. Um, love the paint job. The red stripe. Just, oh, it's beautiful. Now, let's see. Um, I don't really, I'm not seeing anything else stand out. As far as what you should do with it, do what your heart desires. But I think that the stock look, going for that, that factory look like what you got going, I think that is definitely the way I would want to go with this. Um, it's beautiful. And once you get the interior on point with the rest of it, oh man, you will be on a whole nother level. I, I, I love Jeeps like this. Definitely love Jeeps like this. Now... Yeah, look at the stance. I mean, it's just, it's perfect. I would change the wheels. That's the only thing I would change. I'm just not a fan of those wheels. I would go for something, um, not all crazy beadlock looking or anything, but maybe like some steelies or something like that. You know, just something a little more, a little more realistic, a little less uh, plastic, you know, a little less, I don't know. I, I would go for like some steelies personally. Looks so good, man. I love that you have the back two windows tinted because in real life that's how they are. The front ones are untinted. The back two are tinted like a 30% or something like that. 38% I forget what it is but um, I like it. It looks great. Got that organ plate on the back it looks like. 
This thing looks so good. I cannot wait till you finish the interior. There's an underside shot. You can see it definitely needs some work under there. Um, it's got wires all over the place. I mean, they're not horrible, but you know, there's definitely some wires being ran all over the place. And the reason you can see them obviously is because there's no interior and also because, uh, well, I mean, you could, if you had some inner fender wells, some um, floor pan of some kind. I don't know. There's a lot of things you could do to hide the wires. Um, put them inside of some, uh, you know, some shrink wrap or some wire loom or some tape or something. There's always a way. And uh, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. I think that building up the underside of this body would definitely be the way to go. This is the same body I have right now. It's the same one I'm working on. And um, I don't know. I just feel like it's worth putting the time and effort into it to really take it to that next level. So yeah, take your time, do it right, build up the floor pan first, you know, the firewall, um, the tunnel, all that stuff, then start working the interior up, get some uh, inner fenders. I personally use some Night Customs inner fenders for the front and just chop them down until I got them to fit the way I liked. Uh, in the rear, I didn't, yeah, I didn't really come up with inner fender wells, but there are if that makes sense, uh, it's part of the interior. There's, you know, the panels on the inside that, I guess I did. I kind of, I came up with inner fenders for the back too. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's definitely worth putting the time and effort into. It's a really cool body and you've painted yours up really cool. Like, yeah, look at that. The thing looks awesome. Definitely take the time to do this up and see right here with these wheels and tires, that looks killer. Just, that's so Jeep. Anyways, 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 top shot, looking at it right there. It looks good, man. I dig it. I think you're on the right track. I think you're, uh, you definitely got your head pointed the right direction. Get the interior done and, uh, get some small details, you know, some, uh, better wheels. I love the tires that are on it already. I just stick with those. Um, and that's really it, man. You know, that's, that's all it is. Just the little things. So I appreciate, uh, appreciate you entering your build. I think that is it. Yep. That is it. Um, you guys know what to do. Jump in the comments, leave them some feedback, leave all these guys some feedback. How do you feel about these builds today? Which one was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? Um, and tell me why, you know, why was it your favorite? Why was it your least favorite? And, uh, that being said, I am exhausted. I think I'm actually going to go back to bed. I don't know, I've been working too much. <laughs> Felt like I was going to fall asleep on this episode. So I apologize for uh, sounding a little groggy. Energy's a little low today, but uh, we'll, we'll, I don't know. I, I think we made up for it by having some cool builds here and kicking off some good conversations. So yeah, that being said, you guys, enjoy your weekend. See you over on Patreon. See you on the trails. You already know what it is. Peace and chicken grease, fam. Yeah, yeah.